Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today, I would like to share my experience of using this JBL 4305P power wireless speaker that I've been using it for a while. So they are retail for $2,200 and they come with JBL Tionics compression driver with HDI horn loaded with five and quarter inch base driver and powerful by amping structure that they designed it together based on JBL Studio Monitors 4700 series using 25 watts RMS Class D amplifier to drive each high compression driver with 125 watts Class D amplifier to drive bass driver. So each speaker is by amp and driven by 150 total watts of power output that is RMS power. Design and features and everything is it covers pretty much every base you can think of. Whether you want to use completely wireless setup, only connecting power cables to your outlets. You can play pretty much everything in wireless, which I did and it worked out really well and very easy to configure for what I need. So I play music from Audiovana using the MacBook Pro and it sounded very nice and also connect all the cables again. Sound is pretty much indistinguishable between with and without. The wireless technology is very good. And then I try cat a cable connected between the speakers because I want to have maximum resolution because it can do 24 bit 192 K if I do that. But if I keep using wireless, it can do 24 bit 96 K. So to get the maximum resolution, I keep the option of keeping the CAD8 cable connected. My sitting position is about 15, 16 feet away from the speakers and I don't use much toe-in at all. It's just a slight toe-in. This is a true wireless speaker that they are very well designed in terms of technology and features and everything combined. Also, I did the in-room response measurement, meaning, you know, not from my seating position, I measure primary speaker like three feet away or one meter away and one single speaker measurement. As you can see, the green graph is subwoofer cable connected, but subwoofer is not activated. 80 hertz cutout point if you do that uh, subwoofer cable connection, that's automatic. And I also did full range measurement down to like upper 40 hertz, so which is pretty good as I placed right here. So nothing really changing, not, not even even put it in the center of the room. I just measure it right there from one meter away and probably this is a, one of the best measure speaker in this room. The build quality is very good with real veneer wood finish, nice grill and I like the traditional JBL blue front buffer and everything combined. This is classic JBL all around. I try external deck connecting this Ever Solo DMP A6 music streamer and XLR cables connected to back of the speakers and it improving a bit better in resolution compared to internet deck. But overall synergy, the way, the way that they design internet deck and this speaker power amplifier and everything combined, it has best synergy than the uh, external deck that I try. And also I try the USB deck and optical input as well as wireless input. And I will say if you want slightly better in resolution, and a little bit better separation, external deck will do the trick. But I don't see the purpose of it because internet deck itself that come with it come with really good resolution and very good synergy with this 4305P combination, everything combined. Plus you have highly benefited from using all wireless 
technology that they put it together. So my favorite is I can go full blown wireless setup even between two speakers if I wanted to. Audiovana or Airplay 2 or Chromecast or RON doesn't matter what you choose you can do that and it can also do DOP but DOP is only limited to DOP 64 so it's going to be DSD over PCM so there is no native DSD playback but it can do MQA natively it will deliver sound quality with very good dynamic headroom and very nice immediacy that it can deliver very impressive for such a small speaker and in room response is incredibly good in this room this room is almost 80 percent treated so i am not surprised at the way that it performs. average living spaces may be different story than i have in the measurement response and also try subwoofer connected to jbs subwoofer out and it's just go 80 hertz crossover points and I just change the volume to match the uh, speakers and it wonderfully well. Soundscape and skill and depth and DK and everything is as good as it can be. Because if you have to put a system as good as this 4305P, you will be looking around probably like three to four grand in overall sound quality because the synergy is very important and you will not be dealing with the headache that trying to find best combination so this jbf 4305p is for those of you who doesn't want to deal with finding the synergy finding the right components and pairings and everything just want to enjoy your music then this speaker is incredible buy it can do either left or right on primary speaker there is like a slider switch that you can choose from wherever your convenience is you can choose left or right as well as if you have a boomy bass or if you want to trim the bass a little bit there is also slider switch that trim minus three decibel of a low frequency response that is very rare case i don't really need it in my room overall bass quality is nice and dynamic with very articulate and clean notes well defined sound signature and overall sound reproduction human voices are very very accurate because i was listening to my own voice I was editing my video using this 4305P. And another option is you can change input sensitivity like plus 4 dB or minus 10 dB. So that's where you can play around if you needed to because some decks or some products are louder or some products are not, then you can balance it out. So that is another option. It also come with this Bluetooth remote control so you can do volume control, input selectors and everything. So this is very convenient. This is the one of the speaker that really perfected in modern day music listening experience. You can stream pretty much everything wirelessly or with the wire. With or without wire, probably you will have hard time making it, you know, hearing it and what, where the differences are in terms of sound quality everything combined it get the job done for most of the people and good thing is if you don't like brighter sound signature this one is not bright at all unless your music is really brightly recorded music it will totally re-deliver with absolute honesty but if you have an average uh you know good quality recording it will totally give you high resolution and really nice engaging one side of balance in sound signature upper range of a frequency like upper mid area and mid range area that is like a slight hint of a warmness in there that i can notice which makes it more enjoyable high frequency extensions are very good well balanced well behaved sound signature with you can't find the fault in that because the synergy is so good together unless you prefer different kind of sound signature so this one is absolute worthy 
competitor to Kef LS50 wireless and this one will probably save you around, I don't know, seven, eight hundred dollars I think. That's how much different in price and you will have really good dynamic range without sacrificing in sound quality plus you have very rugged design based on JBL professional products with well proven technology and you know all the amplification that they've been using in pro audio so my favorite part is it can go absolutely wireless which i did i was thoroughly impressed the way that it can re-deliver the sound i was playing monitoring my own voice playing my music listening to some of my favorite music and bass quality and voice accuracy and dk and tone balance as well as giving me very good dynamic sound yet engaging balance sound to enjoy my music without getting bright or forward sounding very good immediacy for everything combined i like this jbf 4305p if you are comparing ls50 active and this jbf 4305p probably ls50 will have a slightly better stereo image and really uh, cohesive sound signature JBL 4305 will give you wider sound signature with deeper soundscape and vocals I think human voices JBL will deliver more accurately because when I was using LS50 Meta or LS50 Active my voice when I was re-listening to my own voice is kind of a little bit of uh, muffleness in my sound so which is a little inaccurate so that's the uh, difference between so if you are after great vocals and strings and everything combined even without the subwoofer the dynamic attack and depth and skill that it can produce big and wide sound stage with really nice clarity without getting bright and without getting forward so well thought out and sought out sound signature that you can have for twenty two hundred dollars is great buy in my opinion because you will have hard time finding that kind of synergy with great sound quality in three four thousand dollar price point if you want to put everything together i'm very impressed with overall sound quality out of this jbl 4305p everything combined this is an absolute great buy highly recommended my friend thank you very much for watching and happy listening <music>
Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep, but they just lie there. How they die there. Are you warm? Are you Are you warm? Are you real? Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lonely work of heart? Thank okay. you.